hello my darlings thank you guys so much for coming to my channel my name is Ashley also Ash McPhears if you are a returning watcher I definitely appreciate it you are definitely helping me get somewhere on this YouTube and content creating journey and if you are new and you have stumbled across this video I definitely appreciate you for coming along and clicking on through I do think you will enjoy this video and when you are done Take a little moment, five, 10 minutes, go back in my channel, watch a video or two before you finally hit that red subscribe button, that thumbs up and that notification bell. So let's get into this video. I will be talking about all of the fall slash winter essentials that I will be indulging in because in my previous video I talked about some of those trends and some of the trends or you know some of like basic things that just gets reoccurred but in this one I want us to talk about the essentials that I know every girl is going to have in their wardrobe for this coming season and unfortunately I am that girl that does not really have any of them, let alone at probably none of them. So I definitely want to talk about some of those things that I'm going to indulge in. So let's go. Remember, fashion is subjective. So wear, what, wear whatever you please. You will always look great. First thing I want to indulge in in this fall and winter is definitely denim. I love denim. I am trying to build my denim collection as we speak. I know it is not as extensive as it could be, but we are getting somewhere. I love to see the denim on denim look. It's one of my faves. I talked about in my previous video, uh, the trends, the forecast, that I am looking forward to wearing the structured blazer, the white button down and denim with the black boots. I cannot wait to wear that look and I'm definitely going to take a photo and blast it everywhere I can <laughs> because we need to see what I'm talking about. Um, so I definitely want to see that. I love seeing the girlies just really taking like um, a beautiful top, whether it is a satin top, a corset, um, a graphic tee and just pairing it with denim and it just elevating it with some heels like it denim is a neutral she's gonna do no wrong for me so i'm definitely partaking in it because she is that girl another thing i want to really get into is work pants and i don't mean like i want slacks because i'm going into an office or anything like that but because i like to see that bit like that work casual look where you can have a graphic tee and then your slacks or you know just I don't really I can't really remember their material but that pairing with like some nice shoes there's this influencer I'm gonna I don't remember her name off the top of my head I think her name starts with a Q but there's this influencer that I follow she does amazing works um like office casual attire she does an amazing job with pairing like slacks and like a plain t-shirt with sneakers up and then the bag the tote bag that you have she does an amazing like work and work attire uh casual look so definitely love the way she styled her stuff but yeah I just want that like business casual look on a regular basis you know, not every single day, but you know, every once in a while, just switch it up and give us that little feel. So I think that is like, those are the two things that I'm really looking forward to wearing uh, this fall and winter. Definitely my denim. And then we just, you know, business and casual. Another thing I am definitely indulging in this coming season, it's platforms. I said it in my previous video and I'm going to say it again. I want to be the girl that gets it. <laughs> I remember when platforms were a thing like 10 years ago and i'm i'm re i want to be a part of that because I, I was too young to be a part of it at the time so i'm not gonna get the valentino or the versace ones because i just i'm not made of money <laughs> and inflation is real like we have to be realistic here so steve madden Thank you for him. He will do. And you know, Amazon, I'm sure Amazon have their dupes. But yeah, there he is going to do. And there are a few number of his platforms that I want to get. Because like I said, inflation is real. What's happening in this world is a lot. We're still trying to recover from 2020. And now we got, uh, let's move on. We are joining the platform trend. 
I will be getting mine and I will do a whole unboxing and a haul and all that when I start to gather up my things. So another item that I am thinking about indulging is, is blazers. I am a big fan of blazers. I have always been, they are like the perfect outerwear if we didn't have to wear like outerwear, you know what I mean? Um, and plus they are the perfect transitional piece from summer to fall and just before it gets a little too cold in fall. I love a blazer. I do like an oversized look. I do think it looks great, but it unfortunately doesn't look great on me, so I can't do that one. But I am investing in some really structured ones. I actually saw a few on Banana Republic, and I was just like, wow, I actually forgot all about Banana Republic. I find that so strange, and I was literally looking at some of the pieces that they had, and they had some really decent stuff on there, and I was like, okay, all right, maybe one of these days I'm gonna get something from there. Even J. Crew, J. Crew is so great for like that business casual kind of slay you know um so yeah definitely blazers blazers is that girl she's you know the girls that get it get it and the girls that don't don't and i want to be a girl that gets it <laughs> so i will be getting me a blazer or two because i do this every season where i said i'm gonna get it and i never do i'm gonna invest in a blazer especially a black and a white one at the bare minimum those two basic colors will be in my wardrobe this season no questions asked hands down also want to incorporate dresses into my wardrobe and don't get me wrong i have dresses that's not the, the issue the issue is the type of dresses that i have because most of my dresses are really more like summer appropriate and party appropriate and listen i'm a big believer in wearing what you want no matter the season no matter the climate no matter what it is wear what you want if that's what you're comfortable in however there are occasions where i just want to throw on a dress and go to the grocery store or i just want to go and like go run the few errands that i have to run like i don't want to put a lot of thought into the dress that i have but because they're so party based or like they're just so short and all of that it's like eh, i can't really work with all of that you know uh so i definitely want to incorporate more like like knee length dresses or just dresses that are more fall appropriate maybe one that is it is this the three quarter one the ones that come like above the elbow some rib dresses like things like that i definitely i think h&m it would be a really good place for me to start maybe h&m or zara or maybe asos i don't know but i am definitely in the market of getting me some good fall appropriate dresses why because they can take me to fall winter spring summer all of that so i need to invest in the right stuff as well since i had brought up platforms i also think it's important for me to bring up sneakers because i am a heel girl i love heels but sometimes I forget that I cannot wear heels every single wear I need to go. And I sometimes neglect that. And I look in my closet and I'm like, but why do I have so many heels? And I don't have any sneakers. And then I'll have maybe like three or four sneakers that I'm just wearing in rotation. <laughs> but anyways, I definitely want to start investing in some more sneakers. And I actually, today... I actually bought the New Balance 327 ones. Uh, they're in like nude and orange. I've always wanted that particular color, but it is forever sold out. So I was very surprised when I saw they had the one left on Sense or is it Essence? And I scooped it up. I was not playing with anyone. It was going to be mine and I got it. I want to invest in more sneakers. I am thinking of repurchasing some Vans, some Converse. It's like the basic nice Nikes. Just the basics like i feel like i feel like i'm such a fashion girl in my head um that i should have like a good subcategory of shoes and i i predominantly have heels and it's, like i said nothing wrong with that but i need balance for those days that i need to run to the grocery store i need to throw in a nice good appropriate length dress with my sneakers and call it a day right yeah 
<laughs> I also want to really, really build my jewelry collection. I feel like I do not have an extensive one. I actually don't. It's not even I feel like a, it's, it's not a feel like thing. It's and it's a fact. I don't have an extensive jewelry collection and I really want to change that. Um, I did invest in the XIXI brand from Adrian, but I am not a big fan of that brand. Um, there's like one or two pieces that I have on like this one. She's pretty decent, but most of them have tarnished within like three uses. Um, some of the earrings, the, the, I don't know the term, but the part that you stick in the ear has broken off. Some of the stones, uh, from the rings have come out. It's just, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, you get what you pay for, but I was really hoping they would hold up. So I am definitely like on the hunt of building up my jewelry collection, especially since I am very much into that whole maximalist jewelry trend right now. And I hope it never stops because I am really into stacking on the bracelets. I'm really into stacking on the rings. I mean, of course I don't have it on now, but I don't have that many rings anyways. But I'm really into that. I'm really into layering on the necklace. The air, I'm into seeing the whole like maximalist jewelry trend and I'm a big fan of it. I can't wait to be a part of it to say that. Yeah, I joined that trend. I remember that. <laughs> It was so amazing. I felt like that girl. <laughs> I can't wait to get there. So um, yeah, I'm I'm investing in a decent jewelry collection. If you guys know of any good brands to shop from that don't tarnish as much and is good for sensitive skin, please do let me know because your girl has eczema and you can't wear you can't put on anything with eczema. We'll freak out. Uh, so if you do know any decent brands. Uh, please do let me know because I will definitely invest. Now, I know this is a weird one, but I do think it's important to bring it up because I myself neglect this so much that when it is time, I am so annoyed that I don't have the, these two items. And it is belts and scarves. Simple as that. Uh, I just feel like you must always have a good belt in your collection and at the bare minimum a black belt and a brown belt um and i don't have that i don't have that i mean i have a black one the gucci marmont one but you're not gonna wear that who's wearing that for every single look no tacky so i definitely really want to invest in a good high quality belt and also like a good quality scarf uh living in new york you need a scarf and i tend to neglect those two things right the belt really helps bring accentuates your waist of course we all know that but it also helps balance out um your look like say for example you have in a white bodysuit white pants throw on a brown belt and cute, look real cute very classy you know what i mean it's like that like i need a belt and it's also i need a scarf i'm always neglecting a scarf like i am literally that girl that walks around with her coat buttoned all the way up here with no scarf why because i didn't remember that i need to invest in scarves it's ridiculous and lastly i am investing in some knitwear i know this is like of course who's not investing in knitwear how don't you already have knitwear i do have i have had knitwear that's not the problem it's they've gotten really old and dingy so it's time to invest in new knitwear and i have been looking at you know balenciaga slapping us in the face with them gucci chanel we got it all from them so i am really thinking of investing in good knitwear like a cardigan a jumper it's knitwear it's knitwear is always going to be on trend especially when it comes to the fall and winter season especially when it's a crop knitwear and you can show a little midriff because you know the girlies love to show a little midriff not me i got too much tum tum <laughs> But yes, investing in really good knitwear I'm, is something I'm really going to do because I just really want to be that girl. So this is everything that I am thinking of 
indulging and more than likely will indulge this coming fall and winter season now these are just things that i currently want it is subject to change we are about to close out august and begin september so things are definitely up in the air and still can change but i think right now everything that i have on this list are pretty much staples for the upcoming season and like i said some of these things are things that i really need to invest in because i need to have a well-rounded wardrobe and i really don't feel like i have that so i am hoping to accomplish that this coming season if you guys like this video and really enjoyed it i definitely appreciate it especially if you have made it to the end of this video to be completely transparent with you all by watching and staying until the end of this video, you are letting YouTube know that you are enjoying the content that I am producing and not just me, but other fellow YouTubers. And they will continue recommending slash suggesting our content to not only you, but to everyone else on the YouTube platform. So I greatly appreciate you staying until the end of this video. And if you also want to see more fashion related content from me, and I really hope you do because I do enjoy talking about it, definitely leave me a thumbs up or shoot me a comment and let me know like girl i'm enjoying what you're doing please give us some more and i definitely will and i will have everything for you linked in the bottom bar below so you do not have to go too far to find them and i will also have a video on screen either here or here of another video that i think you guys will like so thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms my name is ash mcpherce across all the board and yes you guys have a phenomenal day evening night or whatever time of the day you are watching this bye